Hadouken! Yellow. All right, today we're gonna talk about racism in YouTube videos. One in particular from this group of Hilljacks from Ohio called the Bad Graphics Gamers. So recently uh, we put out this video, Finding Retro uh, 12, and one of the comments was as follows. Glad to see racism is alive and well in Ohio. More iconic racist comedic videos from a bunch of white guys. I don't fuck white girls, okay? Who are you calling white? You kinda turn me on. But it's funny, right? Let's all passively watch this wholesome retro video game hunting video and give it a thumbs up and gloss over all the negative associations, stereotypes they made regarding flea market. Then again, I like my racists just like this. Open and unabashed by their behavior. I bet they feel like they didn't say anything wrong. Hashtag unsub. Why did you unsub? <laughs> Come on, dog. Really? Here at Bad Graphics, we like we like to keep it real. What you see on TV or what you see on YouTube is who we are in real life. We're not trying to butter things up. We're fun, easygoing people. We like to joke around. Our jokes go a little too far sometimes. We are not racist. We are not racist. I don't like white people. How could I be racist? I don't like them. I don't. Obviously, this feller thinks we went a little too far in our video. Which, you know, I'm not too, uh, too above myself to admit when I have done something wrong. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. And it is what it is. So I watched the video again and kind of took it from the perspective. Maybe we took things a little too far. And he had mentioned later in the comments, after myriad amount of uh, hashtags, this feller, made fun of the Mexicans at the flea market. We played 50 Cent in a reenactment in the hood, which was also racist as well. What he failed to say is I uh, I was making fun of a white pecker wood in the video as well. I most certainly will. This is a typical pecker ass wood flea marketer. That to me is the problem. I judge a person on their character, not what they look like, uh, their sexual or sexual orientation. I could give two fucks less. Two fucks suck balls. No one can't admit that everybody is different in their own way and different races, genders, and just subcategories of human beings might have stigmas or stereotypes, or they might be a little bit different in a good, positive way, a bad way, it's, that's life. I said that's life, funny as it may seem. I'm not sure Superman TV, what, uh, what race, I'm assuming you're a guy, but if I were to assume what race you were, would that be racist, just from, reading your comments and taking an, uh, an educated guess. Would that be a racist act as well? We're not getting into a, a political rant. I don't care if you're liberal, conservative, independent, don't give two fucks, I don't care. I think as human beings, people have gotten way too sensitive. Way too sensitive. You can cross the line. Oh, you stepped over the line. You stepped over the line. That long hair don't cover that red nut, boy. You can't just say whatever you want to anybody. There's things and there are parameters that you need to stay within. He hashtags, I swear to you, nothing says love more than going to a nest, say, mart, using a Speedy Gonzales or impression and reenacting a pickup by creating a hood scene while blasting 50 Cent. That's the longest hashtag in hashtag history. Uh, this reminds me of a bougie white bitch. You know, like with the Starbucks. They spelled my name wrong again? Those peasants. 30 signs, you're a common white bitch. Wait, is that racist too? I have family members from Thailand. I have black family members. I have Mexican heritage family members. I have white family members. I have homosexual family members. I have criminal family members. I have an array of family members. And guess what? I love them all the same. I could care less what they are. I like some more than others based on personality and personality only. So A, we're not racist here. B. I, I may have gone a little bit over the line on when we were at the, the Mexican flea market and, you know, the... 
you know, that that was a little bit, that might have been a little bit over the line, and I will admit that Superman TV. But I'm telling you, the reenactment, when we're blasting 50 Cent, like, we had to reenact this scenario. We weren't doing anything inappropriate, negative. I mean, that's what happened to a T, pretty much. Um, I mean, we might have just stretched the truth a little bit, but basically that was what happened. We were in no way being negative or racist. I just think that people, humans in general, especially today, are too sensitive, too soft. You're the real MVP. There's such thing as the real world. Not everything goes your way. Uh, we weren't being malicious. We weren't going over, we a little bit over the line on the Mexican thing, but I don't understand why you didn't bring up that I was making fun of the white peckerwood when he's just right over the hill there. From the natty, hell, y'all are right beside Dayton. Hell, y'all are just right over the hill from me, for real. I don't know why you, you know, I don't, I don't get why that wasn't discussed when you were trying to, to list all of my racism in our video. What you say? Troll talk. He unsubbed. So we're hoping Superman TV watches this since he's no longer a subscriber. If our channel was gonna make it, it would have made it already, it hasn't. So, what, I mean, what do we have to lose? Let's be real here. What you see on camera is who we are in real life. We have no bars held. Um, we're, we're crazy, funny people. That's just easy going, and that, that's just, that's who we are. <laughs> if, you saw, if you saw the video, you saw the comments, you know, if, 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 if I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments, should I tone, should we tone it down a little bit? Or do you like seeing real, real people being real you know so sensitive these days you, you, you know you squirt a little fart out in a movie theater and next thing you know you're in jail i mean i you can't do nothing these days nothing uh, let me know if i'm wrong you know i'm not always right you know peace out <laughs> yeah i just man i just like pulled out too soon man i, I don't know